I'm Todd Neal, MedPage Today, reporting from the American College of Cardiology meeting in Orlando. Treatment with glycoprotein 2B3A inhibitors has been shown to improve outcomes in patients with acute coronary syndrome, but the optimal timing of administering the drugs and whether you should be routine for all patients has remained unclear. I spoke with Dr. L. Kristen Newby of Duke about the results of the early ACS study, which found that the timing might not matter. Well, so our um, specific question was to answer a timing question with this drug called eptofibotide. And um, we, we did this because our practice guidelines um, acknowledge that this is a good drug for patients with acute coronary syndromes. It's been used uh, for 10 years now, but it's not entirely clear what the right timing of initiation is. Do we give it to patients when they first present to the emergency department? Or do we wait until we've already seen the coronary anatomy at the time of a heart catheterization and then make a decision to give the drug if we're going on to put a stent in, for example? So our sole focus was to uh, help clarify for physicians when we start this drug. And so what did you find? Did you, did you clarify this question? Yeah, I think we've uh, answered um, the question. We found that on our primary endpoint, which was uh, a composite of adverse cardiac events um, that there was no difference between starting it early and starting it later. So the, the early strategy, which was really the experimental strategy, was not superior to a watchful waiting um, and decision making by the physician in the cath lab. Are these results strong enough to change guidelines or, or will things stay about the same as they are? No, I think these uh, results will be heavily considered when the guidelines writing committee meets again and, and likely will result in some changes in the guidelines. And I think it's uh, a, a clear message for physicians that based on this large clinical trial, there's really no support for starting an early strategy routinely. Now, there may be subgroups that uh, can be identified that it would be beneficial for, but um, as a routine for every patient when they come in, it's not supported after the results of our study. Reporting from Orlando, I'm Todd Neal, MedPage Today.